I'm out in the garden. Yay! We finally have some nice weather here and we're starting to get summer. So I wanted to share with you my top five favorite perennial culinary herbs. And a perennial plant is one that comes back year after year. So I really love perennial plants because just plant them and essentially walk away every year. They'll give you lots of flavor for your salads. So these are my top five favorite pretty darn hardy <laughs> perennial culinary herbs. And I love them in salads and I love to dry them as well to store for the winter. So number one on my list is this gorgeous oregano. Oregano is very fragrant and it's good in pasta sauces. It's also great in salads and it's really hardy and it just comes back thicker and bushier and it's beautiful in the garden. And you can incorporate many of these herbs into your flower gardens and a lot of them grow very well in pots as well. If you don't have a garden you can just buy a large pot or half barrel and plant some of these. You'll need to protect it a little bit in the winter time because the roots are above ground in the pot but otherwise um, you can grow most of these just in some containers on a patio or anywhere in your garden. So number one is this gorgeous fragrant and beautiful lush oregano. Number two and sorry for the wind but that's where we live on my favorite perennial culinary herbs is chives and chives come in a variety of colors from white to pink to purple and they look beautiful in a garden setting just as ornamental flowers but they also provide you with a nice punch of flavor for your salad. They have that lovely mild oniony flavor and I really like these white ones and so do the bumblebees which is great because growing these types of plants to attract bees in your garden is also very good for the environment and uh, again these will grow no problem in a container and you can choose from pink, white or your standard purple chives and it's a nice punch of color and some beautiful flavor for your salad. Now when picking your perennial herbs never pull them up from the roots. Simply just go get a pair of scissors, a pair of kitchen shears and just trim off what you need about an inch or so from the bottom and then they'll just keep coming back and you'll keep getting more throughout the season. And so. you'll have a nice constant supply of your herbs and you can also eat the flower heads of most of these herbs and they look beautiful in your salads. Number three is mint. Now this is an apple mint that I have here that's sort of being covered over by some rhubarb leaves but there are many many different varieties of mint and I love all of them and they taste excellent in smoothies and with fruit just a really easy plant to grow so I'll show you another couple of varieties that I have. I just showed you the apple mint and this one has a variegation of yellow in it which is just like a coloration in the leaf and this one's called ginger mint and it's extremely fragrant and it's just a mint it's not related to ginger at all it's a mint plant but it has flavor notes in it that resemble ginger. And this one is absolutely lovely for an iced tea. I make a green tea with ginger mint and lemon iced tea in the summer and it's so delicious and refreshing. And there are many different varieties of mint that can be purchased. If you check out Richter's, that's where I buy a lot of my herbs, they have many, many varieties of mint um, that have notes of other fruits in them, which taste fantastic. And this one has to be my favorite mint. Uh, this one's really hardy and will grow anywhere and it can get a little weedy so it may be best grown in a container if you don't have a garden where it can just grow wild because it'll just take over pretty much everything which is great because it looks beautiful and it gets purple flowers. And this one is chocolate mint and it has a deep burgundy underside to the leaf and a vibrant green on the top which is lots of antioxidants with all the different colors and it tastes like a dark chocolate and peppermint blend. And again, it's just a mint, uh, just have notes in it that taste chocolatey. So if you like 
pep bars or anything like that. This mint is fantastic and it's really, really fragrant. If you step on it or you pinch off a leaf like I just did, the whole air is now filled with the beautiful fragrance of mint. So many different varieties of perennial mints to choose from and definitely a favorite in the garden. Sage is another one of my favorite perennial culinary herbs and it's fairly easy to grow but it can get a little bit fussier than some of the other herbs because it is a shrub and it needs to be trimmed properly but uh, sage leaves are very great if you make soups and they're a little bit pungent but they're even great in salads if used sparingly. I use sage a lot for teas and um, mouthwashes as well as um, preparations for dental. Uh, you want to whiten your teeth or use some sage to brush your teeth. A sage is great for that but it is a very delicious culinary herb as well. So sage is another one of my favorite perennial culinary herbs. And lastly is this pungent leaf and it is an acquired taste. Some people love it, some people hate it. I really love the flavor of this horse radish and you do harvest the roots in the fall so what you have to do is after you can use the leaves as well in recipes but the main ingredient is from the root and you have to lift it in the fall and remove most of the root pieces for your recipes and then after that you plant it back so you don't remove the whole plant you just pull it up out of the ground in the fall of the year uh, preferably on a cool and dreary type of day so you don't lose the plant and then you take off whatever root you want and plant the plant back down in the ground and everyone that knows horseradish knows it's, it makes a great sauce it has this beautiful spicy pungent flavor and it comes back year after year again this one something like the chocolate mint can get quite aggressive in the garden so you may want to plant it in a box or container like this to contain the roots or if you have a nice big space where you don't mind it growing wild you can certainly plant your horseradish anywhere in the garden and it will just take over a certain spot and the leaves are actually beautiful um, very insect resistant nothing seems to bother it too much so it just has these beautiful large leaves and looks gorgeous in the garden so i have these just planted in a raised bed with my rhubarb and several other herbs and both perennial and annual and they're doing quite well so there. i hope you enjoyed my top five favorite culinary perennial herbs and if you're new to growing herbs in your garden simply go out and get a nice little pot and you can start a lot of these from seeds get a nice uh, garden catalog like Richter's and you can get plug plants there or seeds and um, it's a little late in the year for most people to start seeds now but um, if you have a long growing season into the fall you can certainly start a few perennial herbs from seed if not you can buy the little plugs from the local farmer or from one of the garden stores online be sure to always purchase organic herbs because they're often treated with things that we don't want to add to our soil, um, chemicals that we wouldn't want to be consuming. So everything here is grown organically and just intermixed between each other and it likes it that way. So, so if you have any questions or comments about your favorite perennial herbs or if you want to know more about how to grow them, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer all your questions.